Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Suyi smartwatch. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Let me get the shrink wrap off here. So we have some icons on the back with some of the features. It has heart rate monitor, sleep monitoring management, blood oxygen monitoring, blood pressure monitoring, calorie, and more exercise mode. Pull this out. So here we have the watch and the band. So this has a decal on it showing the different features. So I'll pull that off. There's also plastic over the sensors in the back. Okay, I guess I'll pull the rest out. Here we have a charging cable and the user guide. So I didn't see any instructions on putting the band on in my quick look there, but it should be pretty easy. It's a standard band. I'm holding the watch in this orientation with the buckle towards the top. And I will stick in, see if I can get focused here. I'll stick the pin in on one side, like so. And then I'm going to take my thumb and pull in on the band, pull the pin in until it goes in the hole on the other side. So this is the little lever I pulled. I just pulled back on that. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I'll give it a little bit of a wiggle. Seems good. Okay, so now I'm going to read through the manual and figure out how to set this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this in to charge it. So this has a little charging dock here and that looks like it's going to fit in like so. So this has some magnets on it and some little contacts. You line up the contacts and it will just fit into the right spot. So now I'll plug it into my USB adapter. So you can plug this into pretty much any USB charger. Okay, it just buzzed, so it means it's getting power. And we're currently charging at 0.17 amps. So I don't know the exact charge rating, that could change, but I'll let this charge up while I'm reading the manual. Okay, so let's look at the parts. This is an on back button over here on the side. This is a touch display. We turn it over, we have a microphone here, and here it says horn, I think that's the speaker. And this is the temperature sensor and just regular sensor in the middle. I'm not sure exactly what that sense is, but that's those parts. So we can press this side button to turn it on. Turn off my light here. Hopefully we can focus in on that. So here's the screen. Looks like we're at about three quarters power right there. I don't know if we can use this with it plugged in. Let's see. Doesn't seem like we can use this when it's charging. Okay, so I'm going to read through the manual and I'll play around with this a bit and then we'll take a closer look at the features. Okay, so I've been learning through this and I've already paired it up once, but I'm going to walk through it. So I'll scan this QR code with my phone and it will bring up the app in the app store. So I'll download that, I'll open it. It says it would like to send you notifications, I'll allow that. I'll enter in my profile here. Now I'm just going to skip over this in the video, but you can assume I entered this correctly. So now I'll hit add device, it's searching. I'll turn this on. Okay, it says T45S, I'll tap on that. It says Bluetooth pairing request. T45S would like to pair with your iPhone, I'll say pair. It says, do you want to allow the T45S to display your iPhone notifications? I'll allow that. So this device actually has two ways to pair it. You need to pair the app and then you need to pair it as like a Bluetooth speaker almost. So I'll tap on the watch, I'll swipe down and I'll hit the phone icon. That will turn the phone on and then I will go into the Bluetooth settings of my phone and under other devices, we'll see audio T45S and I'll tap on that. And now we're connected in the two ways we need to connect. I'll go back into the app. So let's take a quick look at the app. This has different tracking things on it. it has steps, sleep, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and running outdoor. So on the bottom, we're on the left. If we go to the middle section, we can remove the device here. We can go to watch faces and we can change the watch face. This fourth one you can edit. Here you can change some different things like colors, the picture, and you can kind of customize your watch face. You can also go to discover more dials. And there are all sorts of options here. I haven't gone through all these. There's so many to choose from. So as you scroll down, it loads more. I'm not sure when this ends. Maybe that's it there. Then we have notifications. We can turn on different notifications for different apps. We have alarms. Here you can set your alarms. We have shutter. This sets it up so you can take a photo with your watch. So here I have the camera. I'll open that up and I'll tap the camera. So the camera opened up and I'll tap the watch and it will take a picture. So you can use that for taking uh, kind of like a remote shutter essentially. <laughs> then we have favorite contacts. It says add quick newsletter. I think that means add quick contact. So if you click on that, it will go through your contacts and you can add them to your watch. We have others, I'll tap that. Here we have different settings. We have find device. Okay, so that's buzzing now. Uh, time formats, 12 and 24 hour, has reminders to move, full day heart rate, full day body temperature. Now, if you track some of these things all day, that can make the battery go down faster on the watch. Has do not disturb, language, unit format, metric or imperial. 
So for the things I'll use this watch for, I want Imperial. Auto lock, it's currently set to five. I'm going to up this to say 15 seconds. I felt five was too short for me. It has reset, quick view, drink water reminder, weather. I want weather temperature to be Fahrenheit. The location, we'll enter that in. Physiological cycle reminder, that would be for women to track their monthly cycles or cycle. And then we have upgrade here. So right now this watch currently has the 2.04 firmware and there is a firmware available. So I will be updating that. And then under me, we have our profile, our goal, our health and about. So I'll go ahead and upgrade this. We'll see what that entails. There we go, it's downloading. Okay, it says it's complete. So that didn't take too long. Guess I'll hit back here maybe. Okay, and the watch came back up. And one thing to say about firmware is when you get a new device, it's not a bad idea to check and upgrade the firmware right away. That way, if you set anything up on a device, you don't end up wiping it all out. And I haven't really set anything up on here that I was worried about wiping out. So I'm going to put the watch on now. Hopefully I can manage. This is a tricky position to film in. But to turn this on, I'll press the side. You can also shake your wrist. A lot of glare there. I'm going to attempt to do this with the light off. So this is kind of the home screen. We have the time, the power, the battery is charged. We have the steps. So if I drag down from the top, we have the Bluetooth phone mode. So you tap that to connect that up. We have the brightness setting and this you just tap. And there's four different setting modes. So needless to say, the brighter, the faster the battery is going to go down. We have cloud here. This is the weather, 17 degrees out. If I scroll up, it has a forecast on the right. We have the app mode is honeycomb or list view. So currently it's honeycomb. List view is very easy to understand. Once you see the honeycomb, you know the difference between the two. On the left, we have I, it's info. We have the MAC address of the watch and the firmware level. And on the right, we have some settings. We have brightness. So that goes back to this page. Oop, let me go back there. We have phone on or off, call reset, shake on. And that turns it on by shaking your wrist. We have do not disturb, theater mode. That makes it really dim. The dial switch, that is the face on there. Reset, power off, QR code. And if you do QR code, that will bring up the QR code for the app. And then we have about has that information on it. So back at this screen, if we swipe to the right or swipe to the left, we have call records, dial pad or contact. So these have your contacts you add in the app. We have a dial pad so you can dial a phone number. If we swipe up, we have our notifications. So notifications coming on your phone, they'll get passed to this. So earlier I was testing it and I had an Instagram notification on here. Swipe to the right. This is the honeycomb with all our apps. So this you can drag around and select your apps. And this is what I was talking about with the list mode is some people may not like this and you can just have it be a list. And I actually, I don't mind this, but I think I'm going to do the list because I think it'll be easier to show on here. So I'll swipe back over here. And now we have all of the different functions. Oops, I got a little crazy there. So here we have steps, taking zero steps. That's since I updated. Drag down, we have some history and things. The body temperature. So I'll press that, it will buzz. And now it's going to take my temperature. So it says the surface temperature is 80.7 degrees Fahrenheit and the body temperature is 83.4. We have heart rate. I'll tap that, it will buzz. Okay, now it's showing the heart rate, 67. Training, so this has different things like walking. So this is three, two, one, now you start walking. Has your heart rate, your calories burned, your steps, how far you've gone, and this looks like intensity level. So you can stop and pause that, I will stop that. It says it's too short to save, which is fine with me. It has running, cycling, has different types of activities you can track with this. So it does have swimming. This is waterproof. Now they don't recommend going in something like a hot tub with this. Here's the phone. Here's blood pressure. Oops. Okay. So this is taking my blood pressure. I don't know how this works or how accurate it is. And just in general with any of these smartwatches, this or any other, it's not a medical device. It can do some of these things, but if you need medical care, you need to talk to a professional for that. So this is showing 114 over 71. That doesn't sound wrong actually for me but I'm not sure the technology they use to do that because it's not squeezing my wrist or anything. So I keep clicking off here and doing it wrong. I'm at a weird angle as I'm filming this. If I was just holding this up in front of me and using my finger, I don't think I would swipe off as much. The interface seems to work pretty good. So this is our blood oxygen. Okay, so I'm at 98%. We have weather. I think I looked at that already. Messages. 
the shutter. We looked at that. We have player. So if you have music on your phone, and you can use this with Apple Music, Amazon Music, other music services. If we tap on this, it will play the music through here. You can switch tracks. So I'll click off that. Then we have breathe, and that has a breathing exercise. So it wants you to breathe in and out. So if you need to relax, you can use that. Here's stopwatch. This is pretty basic. We have a stopwatch. We can pause it. Now this doesn't have like a split lap on it. So if you need that feature, this is not gonna cover you. We have alarm, you can set the alarms. You can set three different alarms. Countdown, these are countdown timers. So we have different ones. We have one minute, three minute, five, 10, 15, 30, one hour or two hour. We have flashlight. So this just brightens up the face of this. You can turn that on or off. So it's not a traditional flashlight, but if it's the only thing you have, it would work perfectly fine. We have sleep. So this tracks your sleep, has deep and light, and it looks like it has some history there. And we have others, and that is our other settings. So those are the features in this. So I'm going to use this for a day or two. I'm going to track some things, and then I will come back and show some tracking on here and sum up my video. Okay, so I've been using this for a few days, and there are a couple of things I think I missed earlier. If I go to this screen, if I swipe to the right, you can turn the phone on, but then if I swipe to the right more, it has the assistant mode. So this would be for like Siri or Hey Google. And then we have music player, and then your apps. So this is a way to access your apps you've been using. So then I can swipe the other direction and then go into my list of apps. And I have been using this on the list mode. I think I like it a little better than the honeycomb, but that's personal preference. So if we switch over to the phone app, it is tracking my steps here. If I tap on that, it gives me more detail. We have my sleep here. So this talks about restful, light, rapid eye movement, and awake. And then it gives you a score down here below. I was at 76, not great, <laughs> I'm working on that. And then below it has more history on that. And some stats. You have body temperature. I don't know if that's super accurate, but you have heart rate. And you can initiate measurements from within the app. Like on heart rate here, you can hit measure at the bottom and it will measure. And then we have walking. So I did go walking and it has some stats here. But if I tap on look at more records on the bottom, when you're on the watch, I'll drag to training. And if I tap on walking and start a walking exercise, those get tracked here. So this morning, we have the stats on my walk. I walked 1,721 steps, 1,537 yards, burned 103 calories. My speed was 2.79 miles per hour. My pace was 21.54 M per miles. And my heart rate was 97 beats per minute. And then it has some other information down here. So also we can swipe up for notifications. I'm blurring these out, but these show things like Instagram, messaging. So these give me notifications from my phone. Now you can read these notifications, but you can't reply to them on here. So that's something to consider. Now now you could use something like the personal assistant like Siri or Hey Google to reply to these through your phone. Oh yeah, I also want to talk about the battery here. As you can see the little lightning bolt there, that's the power. So I charged this around nine o'clock at night. It's Wednesday now. I charged this, I think it was Monday night, right before I went to bed because I wanted to be fully charged to do the sleep tracking and I haven't charged it since then. So this has gone two nights and that's how far down the power is. Now that's going to vary depending on all sorts of different things. That seems to be pretty good. So I'm going to test making a phone call here so you can see what that's like. So I'll drag down down. I'll make sure the phone is on. I'll drag to the right. So you can do call records, dial pad, or contact. I'm going to have to blur this out. Hello. Hello. I'm just testing out the phone capabilities on this watch. So yeah. good deal. Okay. Thanks for letting me call you. Catch you later. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I don't know how well that came through. It's not super loud, but it is loud enough to hear. So if you're in an office and someone's calling you, you should be able to hear it fine. If you're in, say, a bus or a subway, somewhere that's loud, it may be hard to hear. So it does have a little volume control on there. So that's just something to keep into consideration. I can't imagine wanting to make a long phone call on that, but if my spouse called me to give me a quick message, I could answer it and then be done. I think this would be very convenient. So that's the Suyi smartwatch. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the capabilities of this. Now, there are some things you're not going to get if you had a more expensive watch like this face is plastic here an expensive watch would likely be glass you can get notifications on here but you can't reply to them aside from that i really like the other capabilities the tracking on here i really like it's really easy to use it syncs up with the app the app is really easy to use it has everything broken down in it, it has lots of statistics so if you want to track your exercise your heart rate things like that i've been really impressed with what this does it's pretty amazing because i remember years ago a simple heart rate monitor was hundreds of dollars and now it's built into this watch with all of these other features on it. And over the past few days that I've been wearing this, the features that I've mostly been using are the time, my steps for when I go on my walks, and looking at the temperature before I go outside, I found that to be very convenient. And then
then occasionally I might do my pulse or something like that. And also the sleep tracking. I found that to be very useful. But it's amazing how much stuff they've packed into this little watch. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.